is an unlikely collaboration using cutting edge technology to try to lessen the impact of earthquakes. CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner tonight shows us how NASA is actually working with the University of Alabama. So I'm in what's called the control room, and what you are about to see are two earthquakes, actually simulated earthquakes, some pretty famous ones that were from the 1940s and the 1990s. If you look to the top of the tower, at the top of your screen, you can see the shaking. But not much, and that's a good thing. It means that this, what's called disruptive tuned mass technology, or DTM for short, is doing its job. You might be wondering why NASA is looking at earthquakes. Well, DTM was originally developed to solve a major vibration issue on a rocket, but NASA realized the technology could have even more potential. And part of NASA's mission is to spin these technologies out and get them out to the taxpayers who helped pay for the original technologies. As for UA's role, this large scale structures lab, which includes the seismic simulator, is the only one of its kind in the Southeast. But if you're still thinking that having an earthquake simulator in Alabama seems crazy, think again. Scientists say a major event has happened relatively close by in the past. If it's like the one back in 1812, uh, it could do damage. The 1812 motion rang church bells in Boston. In Tuscaloosa, Lee Garner, CBS 42 News. DTM has been used on the dynamic test stand at Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville. It's currently being used in the construction of an apartment tower in Brooklyn, New York.